College Station, Texas, is the home of the 12th man and the site for today's game. And now we bring you the coin toss. And it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. On play action. He wants it all going long. And he got it. And he is drilled at the 20. You know, the play action pass that time delivers a huge play. And I think the defense was out of position. There was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity on the outside, and they took advantage of it. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Run play, and he'll lose yards. And nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down and seven. Ball on the 17-yard line. He's tackled around the seven-yard line. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. He gets out to about the six-yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the six. And he tackles him hard at the 15-yard line. Third down and goal to go. Ball on the 15. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown! And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So the Aggies having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. He's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. Got the corner. He takes off. And they push him out around the 48-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Down. 
He's into the open field. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Tackle right around the 30. hit immediately. From the 27-yard line, second down. And down he goes, around the 16-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. down after a nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown A&M. It's a great call here inside the five-yard line. The defense took away the quarterback, a great read, and the tailback ends up in the end zone for the touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28. Once and all, going deep. And he's got it. The 10. Touchdown! Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, brought down at the 26-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, 
They answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? And the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. Brought down at the 28. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. for a loss. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. They'll bring him down at about the 45. By the time the running back here got the football, He's looking up, and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Three down, three down. Set. Wide, 80. Wide. Motion, motion, 80. motion. Rose and it's knocked away. Nice defensive play. The thing I like here is watch the awareness by the defender. Look how he reads this play, focuses on the ball once it's thrown, and then breaks on the ball to deflect it away. That's tremendous effort. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Bulldogs are having their way on offense so far in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop them. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. So the sack makes this a second and long. Mississippi State up seven points. There's a strike complete, and he's down. That brings us third and ten. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. This is definitely going to be pass interference. However, I'm not sure who they're going to call it out. That is such a big mistake by this quarterback. It makes me really wonder if maybe he saw something in the middle of his delivery when he was trying to throw that football. That is very rare to see a quarterback put such a touch on the ball that he underthrows his receiver by that much. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Hey. 
Here's a quick throw. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. From the 29-yard line, first down. Daniels gets it on the draw. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. And they make the stop at about the 11. From the 11-yard line, first down. He's knocked out of bounds around the four-yard line. The half-back option good for seven yards. Touchdown, Aggies. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He makes it to the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. back tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play and he's taken down at the 39 yard line what a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down from their own 39 yard line it's first down Snags that one, and he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Fires that quickly, incomplete. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. First down. Right 
Marks takes it right side. Tackled after a decent pickup. Here's the eighth play of the series. Got a man. Watch out here. Steps out of bounds at the 40. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. Caught out in the open. Knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Looking for the corner. He's at the 20. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's tackled the seven yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seventh. Throws. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, ruling on, the on the field stands. stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. And he tacks on the extra point. Mississippi State is ready to kick it away. He'll take it from the two. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. And he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Three down, three down. 14's the mic. 14's the mic. He might have a chance. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings us third and ten. Why? 80! 
Tackle at the 47-yard line. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. He punts. No, he won't. And it's incomplete. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mississippi State is up a score. He's on the run. And down he goes, around the 45-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on the 45-yard line. that takes the field on fourth down. Very good tackle in space. That makes it first and ten. He's going left. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and goal. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. Mississippi State is up by a touchdown. Pitch right. That's a great tackle at the six-yard line. Dives forward. Marks picks up five with the carry. That makes his third and goal. We've got third and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Defense in their short yardage package. Touchdown, Bulldogs! time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he hits the PAT. A nice eight play, 46 yard drive. And they put up seven points. So our score, 28-14. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Aggies are struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game. And sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like a, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line. Get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hands somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. One touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit. A lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. Try 
tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Mississippi State's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. And he's hit immediately. First down. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Tackles him hard at the 43. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. They'll bring him down at the 39. Griffin picks up about four yards with the catch. The Bulldogs taking their first time out of the half. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Mississippi State will take their second time out of the half. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. He throws left. Got his receiver. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Caught, and that's a first down. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. 
that makes it second and ten. Three down, three down. My 14, my 14. Caught and he's hit immediately. Texas A&M is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third down and seven. Ball on the 42-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. Texas A&M will use their final timeout. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Aaron and out long. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. And he is drilled at the three-yard line. Well, we've played a half of football. Mississippi State's got a three-touchdown advantage. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Going deep. Incomplete. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. My 14, my 14. Ready. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Fires to his receiver, first down. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Makes it to the 31. That's good for the game, 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Pull it down, pull it down. 24 is the mic. 20, block, 90. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 31 yard line. It's second down. Toss left side. And down he goes around the 38 yard line.
flings it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up. And it hits the crossbar. No good. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Tackle at the 48. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. First and 10. Ball on their own 48. the corner he's knocked out of bounds around the 40 yard line the offensive lineman played that one perfectly giving the tailback plenty of space to work with and he took advantage of it excellent open field tackle So it's second down and about two yards to go. Good open field tackle. Scrambling around. He's at the 20. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. He's taken down to the backfield. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 34. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. Smith back to return it. And 
he's tackled at the 26. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 29. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 38. From their own 38-yard line. First down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Makes it out to about the 49. Fires it out, and he's tackled right away. Second and six. Ball on the 46-yard line. He fights forward to about the 46. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And they make the stop at the 27th. First and 10, ball on the 27th. Quick pass, tackle made at the 11 yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Touchdown, Aggies! He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. Well, this young man is having a great individual day. But more of these guys on his team need to start doing the same if they want to get back into the game. And he converts the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. 
He's tackled at the 24-yard line. The Bulldogs fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. It's a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponent to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Second and eight, ball on their own 26. Mississippi State is up seven. Fires out to his wideout, and he's leveled at the 37. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Knocked out of bounds at about the 41. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down. it right and he can't get back to the line. Second and 15. Ball on the 48-yard line. This has been a fun one if you like offense. The shootout continues as we head to the fourth. Mississippi State's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mississippi State up seven points. Caught out in the open. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Rodgers with a nice play fake. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. I got two, I got two. I got two. Hey. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. And he's taken down at the six yard line. That makes it second and two. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Mississippi State. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Gets out to around the 35. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Down, down. 
Short pass, middle of the field. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. We've got a second and five. Ball in their own 47. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. down and he's out of bounds. From the 42 yard line. It's first down. Taken down around the 41 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. 14 the mic. 14 the mic. Play fake, looking to run. And down he goes around the 30 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's at the 20. Big play, and it's first and goal. It's first and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Touchdown, a and M. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Mississippi State is up a score. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24. Nice run, and he's brought down. Lee gets it on the inside. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He's taken down at the 39. We see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of three yards on the way. Third down. Coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. My 14. My 14. Set. Green 90. Green. Looks left, finding his tailback. And he's tackled right around the 46 yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Three down, three down. Just under three to go in regulation. Almost intercepted. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. He's been firing it all game long, and he's now got 400 yards. I like the way he's throwing the football today, showing a lot of poise in the pocket. And let me tell you, it's been fun to watch, too. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Marks gets three yards on the carry. Texas A&M will take their last time out. Just under two minutes in the game. Nearly intercepted. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up, 
And it's through the uprights. And that was a crucial kick, and it very well could end up being the difference in the game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. And hey, we've seen some crazy things over the years in college football. You never know what could happen. If the offense can score in a hurry, you never know here late in this game. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. It's third and five. Ball on their own 35. My 14, my 14. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's stopped behind the line. Once and all, going deep. And it's caught to the 10. Tackled inside the five-yard line. after giving up the big pass. Just over a minute left. The fullback brought down in the backfield. The spike will stop the clock. He's under pressure. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he tacks on the extra point. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Kirk, right now, this is like a race, a foot race. And uh, I think the question is, who's going to get there first? How about watching these two quarterbacks execute their offenses? I mean, they're flawless up to this point. Great execution and playing with a ton of confidence. I think you're right. It's going to come down to that last possession. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it. And that would mean a victory. Takes a knee. From the 45-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. So the Aggies, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.